Hi there. Welcome back to another little episode of MacGyver's Workshop. Uh, this one's going to be uh, uh, the next part in our geothermal process. Uh, putting our ground loop in and we kind of got stopped after we dug the trench because the uh, it started raining on us and uh, we weren't ever able to get the trenches filled in. So, if you look here, we'll show you what we got. This is the third trench. I pumped it out yesterday. We've pumped these out about five times now, I think. <laughs> but uh, and some groundwater seep back up in there, but that's okay. We can, I think we can work with this. And uh, we're going to start spreading these lines out and filling them back in. And we uh, rented something a little bigger this time than my uh, my little bowlings. So this will have a little more oomph when it comes to scooping that red clay up. So so we'll uh, we'll do better with this. And probably make it go a little quicker. So let's get busy. Okay, so what we're going to do to help position our pipes where they need to be is we'll use this long piece of PVC pipe with a notch cut in the end. And you'll see as my son goes to uh, hold the pipe in place as I put the dirt in. So, here goes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, is my son, a little helper here, he's going to hold that pipe in place or that line in place with that pipe using that little notch which makes life a lot easier so I'm jiggling the camera a lot here on the zoom but to hold that in place and then I'll fill this in with the dirt and you'll notice I got a little water still in this hole here um, actually I had it pumped out pretty good last night but it filled back in a little bit with groundwater but that's okay because when I put the dirt in, I want it to kind of mix with the uh, water and turn kind of muddy. And uh, that way it'll, it'll pack in good around those lines and, uh, and settle, pre-settle. So, so we're going to do that and carry on. I'm going to get the loader and start putting some dirt, working our way in. And it'll hold the, that'll hold that line in place and then we'll move on another... 20 feet or so or whatever into the next bow in the line and hold it in place and just gradually work our way down to the end. So stay tuned. Alright, so we're making a little bit of progress here, slow but sure. And you can see how he's holding the, he's holding the lines out, keeping them separated as we get them covered up with dirt. So, slow but sure. Okay, so after we've put dirt in the trench almost all the way up to the end there, the, uh, you know, that couple of inches of water or whatever that was laying in the bottom, you know, pushing it all this way now makes it about four feet of water, <laughs> which is a little bit tougher to deal with, with uh, holding the lines down. So I had to break out the pump again and We'll pump out this last little bit, and then we'll be good to go for the rest of the fill-in on this trench. So, yeah, a couple hours. It's been a little bit of a challenge, you know. We don't have room between the trenches to just, like, get behind the dirt and shove it in the hole. It'd be real quick if we could do that, but, but this way, it's okay. It's taking a little longer, but we can still get it done. So once that gets finished pumping out of there, and let's see if we can see where the let's see where my hose goes here. There it is. I got it running way out the field over there. Just pumping it out, and it'll it'll run down. 
sloped out, it'll run down that way and go out through the culvert. So, so there we go. And then that's the some of the progress we've made thus far. Okay, so we didn't quite get finished because it decided it was going to be the hottest days of the year. Oh, hi Mufasa. That's my Mufasa kitty. Yes, you're my big brave pussycat, aren't you? Yeah, she tells, he tells me all about it. But... He's actually a big chicken kitty is what he is. But anyway, so it's been like 96 degrees both days and like 40 some odd percent humidity. And uh, 
but uh, I got all three of them covered and it's not quite finished and it's not quite prettied up yet but that's okay we can always rent it another weekend so and I kind of got it mounded up in some of the spots there for it to settle but hey it looks better than it did anyway we'll get there the main thing I wanted to do is get the uh, get those lines underground and covered up <clears throat> didn't want them being exposed to the sunlight too much so anyway so that's pretty much it for this weekend I did get Friday off and uh, before the backhoe got here I did get to do a little work on the finish work on the porch there a little nitinoid stuff you know I gotta put the hurricane ties in and then I've been meaning to secure the secure the uh, posts hadn't quite done that yet but that they're done now so so that's our our weekend of work for the on the house then as far as the geothermal goes I'll get the lines in under the house and get them run up into the utility room now that we have that framed in and then it'll be the fun bit where we can start hooking up like all the valves and setting the unit up and all that so stay tuned thanks for watching <laughs>